Hello everyone, this is JD, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Ah, oh, it's finally happening. When was the last time I even played this game? Uh, let me think. Goodness, I want to say it was maybe... 2016, 2017, all the way to maybe 2018, 2019. Uh, back when I did stuff on my own channel, uh, I did a minimalist run on Twilight Princess HD. Uh, but that wasn't all I did. I was playing in hero mode, so I would take double damage, which meant my three hearts were really just like one and a half hearts. Um, but also what I did, I used the Ganondorf Amiibo, which, um, also makes you receive double damage. So, I was taking quadruple damage in Twilight Princess HD with only three hearts. So, let's see, one and a half hearts divided by two. What is that? That's... I had three quarters of a heart, essentially, to live off of. Um, as you can imagine, it was brutal. <laughs> it was very brutal. Uh, but I did it. But it's been a long time since I played this game. So, we're going to go ahead and start her up. Link and Epona, normal mode, no hero mode, not, none of that nonsense. This will be a 100% run, just like uh, Ocarina of Time was. Uh, which means I'm going to have to do the Trial of the Beast or whatever. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is a castle town, a community far bigger than our little village, and far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Alright, we have some downtime, so let's let's talk a little bit. So of course, 100 percent run. We're gonna be getting everything. Duh. Uh, which means Trial of the Beast and the uh, Cave of Trials. Uh Cave of Trials is kind of fun. I think it's a neat challenge. Fifty floors. Or well let's see. It's more like forty-five floors. Every tenth floor you get to visit a great fairy and all that jazz, so there's nothing to fight, but 50 floors of combat, essentially, um, in which you unlock uh, the fairy fountains and get great fairies tears as well. Um, that's the Cave of Trials. Pretty neat. The Trial of the Beast, or whatever it's called, where you use the Wolf Link amiibo in order to enter the dungeon. Uh, is horrible. <laughs> it is essentially what made me think about just playing regular Twilight Princess on the GameCube for a 100% run. Which I'd be ignoring all the quality of life updates this game actually gave, including its better visuals. Uh, all because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to put myself through the Trial of the Beast again. Uh, it's all for the biggest wallet possible, which holds 9,999 rupees, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it, it, it is just so painful to get through. 
it'll probably require multiple videos. I'm hoping not, but I, I have no idea. Anyway, that is for much later me to deal with. Not right now me. So, Hey, Link, you there? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Hey, where's the Pona? Uh-oh. Someone took the Pona while I was chatting. So, this game, uh, kind of unlike Ocarina of Time, has a bit of a slower start to it. In fact, I think this and... No, I think this game has, like, maybe the slowest start to it. Which I'm fine with. Uh, it's just... Most people are like, ugh. Twilight Prince is such a slow game. <gasps> Squirrel! Where'd you squirrel? Squirrel! Okay. Come on now, or even bring a pony with you. Okay, so we need to go get a pony. Uh, is everything set the way I want it to? Uh, up. No. What is my... Right, down the D-pad. Such a weird place to put it. Uh, nope. Switch. Camera control. Invert. Uh, let's just put on normal. First person. Rumble. I don't have rumble control. And brightness should be good. Okay. There we go. Now, in the beginning of the game, there's really not that much to go and get. Uh, we can go ahead and start collecting rupees if we wanted to, but there's not really much need. I'll just end up getting rupees as we go. Um, we don't need rupees for anything right now. We will later. Uh, but for now. Let's soak it in. Hello. Oh, hi, Link. I washed a pony for you. Ah, uh, thanks. I think Elia is sweet on Link. Something tells me. A pony works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Link. Could you do something for me? Could you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes? Well, of course. That should sound familiar to you. Coming right off of Ocarina of Time, of course, uh, is a nice little benefit uh, to playing this game. As this game takes place after Majora's Mask, which Patu is doing stuff with at some point. Um, but this takes place after Link returns back to his own time. So this is the child timeline. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. Well, she's all prayed up now, so I suppose you can write her back. But don't you make her do too much, okay? Okay. Well, let's get on out of here. yippee ki -yay and all that. There is one thing that Twilight Prince HD really mucked with, which is the horse controls. Uh, they're kind of janky in this game for some reason. And I was wondering if it was just me, but I looked online around the game time when... Like about after a year the game came out, I want to say, when I was doing my uh, challenge run. And uh, a lot of people commented that the horse controls don't feel quite right. They're a bit more stiff than they should be. So, that's a little bit irritating that Nintendo never patched that out to be fixed or anything. But, I mean, this is around the time the Wii was just dead. I mean, they released in 2016. The Wii was already dead at that point. Uh, so, it's amazing this game got any updates at all. Of course, I don't really know what they did, but... Never think to look into it. Let's just mount for a sec and talk to the locals. Ah, but isn't Young Link. Are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming to this village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I've had lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good for nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad, you can't get your silly little monkey? Uh, well, no. No, I can't. 
Oh, listen to this Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, I'll have to work with you. Oh, well. Yeah, so the dad's kind of a wimp. And he lets everyone walk all over him. <laughs> kind of an annoying archetype, but it is kind of funny in some cases. Ah, great timing, Link. There's something I'd forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so two of you can play together. You should finish it today so you can come get at the house tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Mayor. Oh, Link. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He heads to the ranch ahead of you. You go fish up your chores before the sun goes down. Okay. Welcome to the Ordon Ranch. There's tons of goats. They're a little bit closer to the oxen, but it's fine. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Epona herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time. Do you can do it for me? Sure. Much obliged there, bud. Okay then, go on and herd all these little scamps in the barn for me. Alright. So, I'm not the best at this. So, we might have to circle around a little bit. Anyway, this is the gist of the, uh, of the game that we're doing right now. Just herd them in. I think there's another thing with, like, the people say, oh, it's just, it's just so slow. Like, okay, I, I do get it. I do. But also, like, it's kind of here to completely, like, mess with your, uh, oh, uh, what's it? Oh. You know what? I forgot the term. Anyway, it makes you think one thing that the game is going to be like, and then it just completely twists it around. Uh. So... You know, I can appreciate it. And plus, we don't get to see, like, what Link's life is like on a daily basis, for the most part. Like, we just know that Link has to get up, has to get his sword, get his shield, and start killing things. Evil things. But, like, we don't really ever get to see what Link's normal life was before that point. And so, this is a taste of it. Which I think is neat. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so you just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. So, very, very southern. Which makes sense. We are actually, like, in the freaking south end of uh, the map. Whew, sorry that it took so long. Okay, then, y'all ride all you want. I'll get tired of riding, just jump to the gate and head back to the village, okay, bud? Okay. But anyway, we are actually done here, so. Yay. Though I will say, people make an argument that the game hasn't aged so well as far as its graphics. I think it looks okay. It could look better. The HD version did do enough to make it look a little better overall. People want a realistic looking The Legend of Zelda game, and uh, they got one, for the most part. Hey, hey wake up, Link! It's morning already! Ugh, so it is. I'm not a morning person. I'm more of a an 11am 11, 11 person. <laughs> it's, my sleep schedule's gotten so bad recently. Uh, I used to wake up at 9 then I used, I was more of a 10 o'clock person, but now I can't even wake up until like it's 11 or so, which I don't know what that's about. Uh, it's pretty bad though. I need to start doing better to actually get up at nine so I can get more stuff done. But uh, anyway, hello. Oh, Link, did you hear? There's something to slingshot the store right now. A slingshot. I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need, I must try it. Taylor, if you mail where it wants so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. 
Do you see rubies in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can you just loan it to us for a while? You know I get in trouble for that. If you two want to save your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Uh, I wish I was born to have a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. <laughs> okay, people want their uh, slingshot. Now we gotta start grinding for rubies. Which I should have thought... I mean, I did think about it, but I didn't do anything about it earlier. Why are there no rupees falling out from the trees? Ugh. Give me some rupees. That's a rupee. Dang it. Wow. Three rupees. Four rupee. Five. Ooh, wow. That's impressive. I believe the slingshot cost 40 rupees. Uh, much like the uh, Deku Shield does in Ocarina of Time. Or it could be 30. I, I honestly can't remember right now. So, we gotta grind for rupees. And unlike Ocarina of Time, I don't know of... I don't know of that many spots where we can get, like, guaranteed bigger rupees. Or anything. Like, in Ocarina of Time, I know where to get exactly 40 rupees by just collecting blue rupees. Without having to touch any green ones. Whereas, like, in this game, like, I've gotta just, like... I mean, you know... You see what I'm doing. Oh, wow, that was two rupees. That's crazy, man. Okay, we need a better system. Like, a much better system. Uh, the Pecori are not being nice to me today. Okay, we gotta go back into town. Oh, hey, Colin. Hi, Link. I finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you the first thing in the morning, but my dad said you just wait until Link comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. Okay, then. So, I have a few small quests to do here. So, hey, dude. What you doing? Well, hey, Morgan Link. Got the from work today, my boy? Not me. Though I've been hassling. Today's the day to restock her store. Look, see that? Up in that tree. You can get better view by pressing R than using R, the gamepad, to look around, just by the way. Yeah, some Mordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, need to bring something home to her. Okay. Oh. Chickens. Alright, so, that chicken, uh, hmm, I'll worry about it in a second. Hey. Yo, Link! Yo! Up here! I want to talk to you. Press A while holding ZL so we can chat. Holding? I only just tap, I only just tap it. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you've got to press A while Z to targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, when you climb up those vines there, Link... How about I ruin our food supply? Ruby. It's kind of a funny thing if you ruin all the, the pumpkins close to being in front of them. Ah, nothing. Dang it. Ruby. And then this last one should do it. Yo! Don't waste food! <laughs> I didn't actually know about that until uh, many years later after I played this game. Uh, anyway, we still need more rupees. That much still holds true. And again, I don't know of any good ways to get them, which kind of sucks. Also, not having played this in a long time, my brain is like um, has completely forgotten how this game kind of handles. You got five rupees. Yay. This game handles kind of interestingly. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Okay, it's thinking about, like, the... Maybe the general stiffness of it. That's throwing me off a little bit. Uh, tree. Also, in the original game, Link would climb up uh, Ivy and ladders very slowly. So I'm glad that that's been, uh... That's been fixed. That he climbs faster now. 
Okay, 35. I believe we do need 40, but I'm hoping that 30 also counts. Uh, but I don't know. Okay, let's go on head up. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, uh, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to look at something. See that grass growing over there on the edge of the rock? How do I see you whistling that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you'd hop across these rocks with a quick little left step. I don't know. It's funny how they have to like talk about how to use the controls in this game. Like, I get it. But it's still a little odd, like, the way they handle it, I suppose. Okay. So, we're actually going to deal with that monkey over there in just a second. Instead of doing it now. Because... I want us to talk first. And get the situation figured out. Oh, um, good morning to you. Did you come to get the fishing rod that Colin made? I'm really sorry. Would you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come by, come floating by here, have you? It's a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could have drifted, I wonder? Alright, now let's go harass the monkey. So, for some reason, the monkey has a cradle that was drifting in the water. Which, many people would misconstrue that as the monkey is stealing it. However, me, being of a smarter mind, uh, knows that it was just holding on to it. It wanted to save it. As far as I know, this grass whistle music is completely original to Twilight Princess. Which is neat. Okay. And we get a reticle. So let's go ahead and aim roughly at the monkey. There we go. Give it back. Thank you, though. At least he didn't run off with it. Now, let's not fall into the water with this thing. That would suck. Hello! I have the cradle. Oh, Link! That cradle! Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you can carry that cradle and come back up to my house? Sure. Now, funny thing, you could walk with her. Or you could just be kind of rude and bum rush it to the house. I mean, it's not really being rude because the game's like, Oh, thanks for delivering it, but it's, I don't know. It's kind of nice to just, you know, walk with her. It's a nice thing to do. Don't, don't need to run ahead too much. Just take it slow. Take it easy. This is the only only time we'll have really any calm moments in this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and enjoy it while we can. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes, I know you've forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. You got a fishing rod. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set to Y, X, or R in the item screen to use it. Face the wire use the cast. Press on the assigned button to pull the line when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It is a little... unpolished. My son, Colin, made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and assign that to R. We have 41 rupees. Let's mess up some other people's uh, food stash. Because getting rupees is very important. Also... This right here, this kind of hole on the side of the wall, important later. Not for now, though. Okay. Let's go ahead and catch a fish. So we just need to go to where the cat is. Alright. Here we go. And we just gotta wait for the bobber to go down. Fishing in this game is really simple. Oopsie. Although, it helps if you're paying attention. Ah. 
I've kind of forgotten how this works. I mean, I haven't forgotten, but I'm, I'm not used to it anymore. Ugh. Come on, me. There we go. I have the entire thing to go s to get submerged. You got a green gill. Ten inches. These small fry are everywhere. Rest down and check the fish you caught in the collection screen. Here you go, cat. Get the fish. <laughs> Link's like, excuse you. Well, the cat's happy. Cat door. All right. Also, catching fish will uh, give you hearts as well. And I've forgotten the reason to collect fish, aside from just the collection part, which we will be doing. I don't think I'll be doing all of them on screen or anything. Uh, that'd be way too irritating to do. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go visit Sarah's Sundries. Sundries? Sundries? Sarah's Sundries. One-stop shopping. You know, I never looked up what Sundries is. Alexa? What does sundries mean? Sundries is usually defined as sundry things or items, especially small, miscellaneous items of little value. Okay, so it's just kind of a miscellaneous shop. Oh my, Link, come in. Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today, he caught a fish all by his little old self. Yeah, all on his own. Man, how do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. You got milk in a bottle, but this bottle is half empty. Use it said to replace... Ugh, whatever. It replenishes three hearts. It's really an empty bottle by pressing Y, X, or R to swing it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Mon Mon Milk either restores four or six hearts, which means that, like, the milk in this game isn't quite as potent. As it was in Ocarina, which is interesting. Oh, don't worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it. You know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world is disposable. It's criminal. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> everyone does that. So what are you saying, my dear? Something you want today? If you're interested, take a look around with right. Yeah, I want this. 30 rupees. Okay, it was not 40, but it's whatever. I got this in for the kids. It's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you get hit by it. Yeah, I want this. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You got the slingshot. Children love this item. You can hold up to 50 pellets. Um, I don't believe that this ever gets a... Uh, an... There's like... I don't believe it ever gets an upgrade as far as, like, how many you can store in it. Uh, interestingly enough, 50 is the max capacity for the slingshot in uh, Ocarina of Time. Whereas you start out with 50 in this game, it never increases, but 50 is a lot anyway, and you won't be using it for very long if I'm being on... Okay, I need to change these, the control options. This is agony. Hold on. It needs to be inverted. Horizontal? That's left, right. Vertical. That's what I want. Okay. Am I also okay with... Yeah, that is so much better. Okay. There we go. And I can... Change the camera controls to... Aim? Okay, I guess it's just... Okay, that's how it is. That's fine. I'll get used to it. I just need to... Ugh, that's so weird. Why are the aim controls and camera controls different? Hold on. Are they? Aim. First. Third. What? Invert both axes? Is this what I want? No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish aiming and camera controls were not the same, uh, but that's just how it is. So it's okay. I I I didn't mean to already fire one off. 
goodness me. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and uh, we're gonna knock that, um, that larva nest thing down. Also, let's go ahead and drink the milk. I'm actually gonna want something else in it. So. We can use the hawk here. And we're just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Link, I saw all that. Calling down the hawk? Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock it down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Yep. And now I'm going to get my reward. Bee larva. You caught bee larva in your bottle. Fish love them, and they're also edible and full of nutrients. Yeah, so... Interestingly enough, they do count as food. But we're going to attach that as bait for later. Uh, just because. And then we can eat it. Yum, yum. Delicious. Link's like, did I really just eat bee larva? I guess, Link. You really just did eat bee larva. Alright, let's go ahead and put some milk in this bottle, now that we've wasted our half thing of milk. Also, in case you haven't noticed, this video is kind of more scatterbrained than anything. I'm not quite as, uh... Oh, milk is even cheaper in this game. I think it's like 20 years in my Ocarina of Time. Except for the fact it's also free. Uh, because of the Epona song thing. Um, a bit more scatterbrained when it comes to Twilight Princess. Because uh, I haven't played it nearly as much as Ocarina of Time. It's a bigger game. So my brain has to like remember everything that's in this game. And all the locations and all that. So my apologies for how scattered it is. This is probably going to be a long video. Uh, like it's already 30 minutes. But it's going to be longer probably. Ah just in time Link. I've just delivered swing to your room. Oh I see you got the fishing rod. Call will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to end this episode here. Um, I don't want to make this too awful long. 30 minutes is already a little bit longer than I would expect. Uh, but I think that's how it's going to be going forward is 30 minutes. Um, anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. And hey, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's free to do. And uh, click the bell to get notifications for when we upload. Uh, we upload every day. And we're doing double uploads right now until we aren't. So look forward to that. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to see us play. Or if you have anything to say about the game or the way we're playing or whatever. We'd be happy to read the comments. And we try to respond every time. And uh, links in the description for all p two socials and his side channel P2 Draws. As well as Cross's channel. And I'm here, so you can just find me whenever I upload. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.